common things that animators do all the time. And for example, this sphere looks like a ball. I might want to make this ball bounce. And that's just a common thing that I might want to happen. And so there's something called presets, motion presets. And it's not in the default settings. So you have to go under window motion presets to find it. So I opened up this panel. And so I need to select the object that I want to apply this to. So I want to apply it to this circle. And I want to see a sample of what the, that's a small bounce. This is a large bounce. And I like the large bounce. But there's a whole lot of presets, things that I want things to fly in all the time when I'm animating. I want things to fly out all the time when I'm animating. So these are some easy settings that you can use. And then to apply it, there's the large bounce. I'm going to hit apply. And you can see um, where everything is going. And now I have this bouncing. So since I have some familiarity with animate, I can move these keyframes around and shift. It was a very slow bounce. So if I want it to move a little bit quicker, I can move these keyframes around. So let's look at another one with this, um, this square. I want to apply, and you, you can explore these as you have time, but just to see another example, I'm going to hit apply for this smoke. So now this rectangle is going to wisp away as a, a smoky kind of object. Now, um, just to see it happen, so I have that square kind of disappearing over time as, as if it's smoke. But um, I don't love that it's going straight up. I want it to go kind of at an angle. So these, I'm going to hide the layer with the circle. And I can adjust this smoke so at the top, I'm going to pick the sub selection tool, the white arrow, and then I can click on these anchors and adjust them. So now this is going to go um, wisp away at an angle instead of straight up in the air. So even though I'm using these presets and the animation is predefined, I can still edit them in some way. I can change their timing. I can change um, some um, of the other information that I have for them. And that's motion presets. One more thing while I'm here, um, this panel, if I hit this double arrow, it collapses to the button. So the button looks like this. I can close it out with the X um, to close out of it. But this button, if I want to keep it and I always want to use this button, I can kind of make it a part of this panel here. So I can, um, anytime I have a button that I use frequently, I can make it a part of my other panels by clicking and dragging it. And you can see the little blue line pops up, a blue box, it's space for it. And then I can just let go of my mouse and it drops it in there, it docks it in there. So it's a little bit about using some window panels that I use frequently and I want them. I don't want to have to find it under window all the time. I, w I can have it as one of my buttons.